What's up guys? It's me, your girl NT, and that stands for Natalia Taylor. And this is my Natalia trailer. And this is my beauty routine in my trailer. I'm literally just gonna get ready right now and we're gonna talk. Zach and I have parked the trailer in Huntington Beach. We are right on the beach today. We are going to be hanging out on the beach. So I'm doing kind of like a summer beach makeup. It's going to be very minimal and again I'm not a professional. This is literally just me. This is just me in my trailer living my trailer life. But first of all I keep all of my makeup in this bag. It is crusty. It needs washed but how cute is this? It's like a little bunny. It says Cottontail Farms. Uh, all of my makeup fits into this little bag. It didn't used to be this way. I have cut back a lot. But the first thing I do is um like I before I even start putting my makeup on I use the Too Faced lip injection because I noticed that like if I put this on before I even get started by the time I'm done with my makeup like it has kicked in you know what I mean like it's kicked in it has made my lips plump and nice and prepped next I use this product this is my daily SPF I know you're supposed to use sunscreen on your face every single day and this is the one that I use it's like a Cetaphil 50 plus and so I just take a little bit like that um, today I'm not wearing foundation but if I w if today were a foundation day I would be using this foundation by YSL after hours I did not buy this. I, I'm sure it's probably very expensive. It was gifted to me and I was like, and I'm almost out. So I'm kind of worried that I'm gonna have to switch to something a little bit more affordable. But if this were a foundation day, I would be mixing these two together. Just apply it to my face and my neck. I know that I'm not using enough. I will probably have to reapply later, but in the mornings, it's like a hit or miss if I have enough time to do my facial massages. Like I'll start from the bottom and work my way up. I will massage my jawline like this. And do this on my lip. And then this is the one that I oh, always feel so good. This part of my routine, like I said, is kind of optional. I wish I was a little bit more consistent with it because I think that's how you know that it works see like that eyebrow looks more lifted to me maybe it's a placebo i don't know yet this is the concealer that i use i think it's the two yeah the Too faced born this way and i am the shade vanilla and i noticed that it gives me like really good coverage when i use a brush i used to just like dab it on with my finger and smear it around and i noticed i was just using more concealer than when i use a brush if you're a makeup artist comment down below and let me know if that's like an actual science and like right here too like right next to my nose i'll kind of like pat it in with my fingers but um yeah that's how i apply my no 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 moon moon no stay away from the tripod go go lay down as you can see that's how i like to apply my concealer this concealer is just so great paired with this brush um and so now that i did my under eyes i'm not done concealing but i'm gonna use the powder i set it immediately uh this is just a wet and wild cheap translucent compact powder i just go around my eye um and my nose because i do get a little oily by my nose too i draw a cross on my forehead every single day and then i do my chin i just noticed that like brightening these areas does a really nice effect on my face. That's my face basically after the concealer. I know I it used quite a bit today actually. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna use very much. This is the powder blush that I'm using right now. It is Too Faced and it is the Cloud Crush blush. And this, this is the shade Head in the Clouds, I think. Yes, I believe that is a shade. I'm not a beauty influencer, you can tell. But this is what it looks like. I feel like this color is so flattering on me is it plummy is it plummy i like plummy colors in lipstick and in blush and in general like i i feel like plum is just a really flattering shade on my skin tone just patting that in to hey excuse me can you 
and then I pat it kind of like on this area so it looks like I got some natural sun before I actually go in the sun. And then the chin and the forehead. And then I just kind of put it all over it, actually. You know what? Why not? Why not the neck and the ears too? Now I'm gonna move on to eyebrows. This, this is so disgusting. I knew I was gonna be kind of exposing myself in this video for not having the most glamorous beauty routine, but this is a brow gel from Pixie, and look at how gross it is. This is disgusting. It's like got probably dirt and dust from my eyebrows in it. This was clear when I bought it. So I put it on my eyebrows anyways. I haven't been filling in my eyebrows recently. I saw this video of this girl who was French, and she was talking about like, the things that women in France do that American women don't do. And I was like, I want to know. And she was talking about makeup and she was saying like, I, f I just feel like women in France don't use nearly as much makeup. I don't know why I'm talking in a British accent, but she was like, nearly as much makeup as American women. Like, if you already have thick brows, don't fill in your brows. And I was like, okay. I mean, I felt like it, the video was kind of pretentious in a way, but it made me feel kind of like, well, why not just give it a try? I'm like used to not doing it now and I really like it. Okay. <laughs> next. This is the next crusty step. This is my, my eyeshadow palette that I use every day. And the, it's called the Deja Brew from ColourPop, uh, a pan that has actually been completely shattered and emptied. And then the rest of them are, you know, you can kind of see I hit pan on this color. But yeah, this is my favorite palette. It's like this top shimmery color and just like use it as a highlighter. This is what I pretty much do every day. Sometimes I'll do, do this with a brush or I'll do it with my finger. But yeah, I put a little, a little pop there. It's so glamorous and pretty and hot. My favorite place to highlight that I feel like makes such a big difference for me is right here on my nose bridge. I don't go down the nose bridge. Like my nose is very long and slender. It doesn't need that. But right here, for some reason, I love that. I think for eyeshadow today, I want to keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna use the shade Koopa U. You guys, Koopa U, is that what that says? Anyways, this is why I'm not a beauty influencer, because every time I would read these, I'd be like, oh, it's Kappa U, because it's like brew like coffee. <laughs> okay, Kappa U on my lid, and I'm just gonna use my finger. I feel like when you apply a shimmer, though, you always have to use your finger. Like, I don't know anyone that applies shimmer shadows with a brush. How does it even come out shimmery if you use a brush? I feel like it'll just buff it away. That is so pretty. I always, always, always put some sort of eyeshadow on the bottom of my eyes. Like, it is absolutely necessary for me. I have to create a shadow under my eyes for my face to look, like, right. Actually disillusionment, but look at the difference. I mean, maybe you don't see a difference, but I see a huge difference. I did do research on this, uh, the different face shapes, right? And like makeup for your face shapes. Face is divided into thirds, okay? And listen, this could all be complete bullshit. The top third, the middle third, and the lower third. So the way that I can like make the illusion of shortening my mid face, which doesn't need shortened, like it's fine. But if I want to create that illusion, I basically put a shadow underneath my eyes and that is one trick that I can use. It's just like lower eye makeup. I think we're ready to curl our lashes. I am going to wear mascara today. I don't use a waterproof mascara. I stopped using a waterproof because it was so difficult to get off of my eyes. I don't like using like oil-based makeup removers. And my lashes are nice and curled. I could stop here and use like my cloudy brow gel on my lashes and like leave them like this but I am gonna use mascara because I don't think I'm gonna be getting in the ocean today. Use the L'Oreal Telescopic. I was influenced back in 2022 to buy this and I've never ever looked back. I uh, kind of feather it on the outside of my lashes first just to give them a good like winged out 
effect. My right eye is usually the eye that gives me the most issue. I mean, come on. The results are undeniable. This is the best mascara on the market. And I've tried some expensive mascaras. People hate the spider lashes look, but I actually have always been a huge fan. This is the result. I mean, this mascara, it's just like the necessary step. Okay, so eyes are pretty much done. And now I'm gonna move on to the most important step, drawing on my fake mole. Yes, I draw on a fake mole every single day. It's right here on my face. The story behind the fake mole is literally, I have a bump right here on my face. It is not acne. It is not like a freckle. It, it's like a bump on my skin. And I've had it since I was like 16. You can see up close. I looked it up and it's called like a cherry something. It's basically a broken blood vessel underneath my skin and it could have been caused by anything it's there i haven't gotten it removed because i guess you can get them lasered off but what's better than removing it drawing even more attention to it by creating a mole brown liquid eyeliner and i just draw it on ah it is just so cute i draw it on every single day and no one ever knows that it's fake no one will ever know. Well, unless they watch this video. So now that the fake mole is on, I'm gonna add some frecks today because I think today is a frecky day. The trick to creating really good fake freckles. I don't use eyeliner, I use a brow pencil. I use a light brow pencil and it is very, oops. It is very fine pointed. I do a couple at a time, but like the key is placement so many people are doing fake freckles right here stop that is not i repeat not the way to create realistic looking fake freckles you need to put them on the sides of the cheeks right here underneath your eyes put them right underneath your eye bags yes i know it feels wrong just do it a couple right here not that many though concentrate them right on the nose bridge blend 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 you guys can see this is the effect that it is creating so much more realistic looking freckles like the key is putting them in places that like you wouldn't normally expect them to be placed with makeup I want to take it another step further on top of the eyelids this will always send your fake freckles to the next level and like right here yup more on top of the eye like right under the eyebrows blend that out a couple constellations on the central forehead a couple constellations on the chin a couple little spots on the jawline and these don't have to be a lot it's not as concentrated as it is right here but just a few look at that look at the real freckles on my face you would never know that those are fake just do another layer of blush this is looking very summer like i'm loving this look to the last step which is lips I feel like my lip plumper kicked in i don't really need lip plumping i just think it's nice to add some color and stimulation to my lips before i apply this, this is a ysl like lip butter thing this was received in a PR package as well. I did not spend my own money on this. It's called Love Shine. I'll swatch it. A very plummy, pretty color. And I like these buttery things. This is this is like the lip products that I love are these buttery like lip balm tinted. They're almost like a tinted lip balm lipstick. This is a newer one I've been using. The one that I actually used for years and still use is the Too Faced uh, the Too Faced Hardcore Lipsticks in Sweet Tea but they discontinued it so I've been buying it on all of like Mercari and Poshmark and for as long as I can but eventually I'm gonna have to switch to something else because they discontinued it and it sucks. Um, I found this one and I really really like this one even though this isn't a good switch because I'm sure this is like a million dollars. Like rub it together until it's kind of over my lip line like that. And then I'll take my finger and just kind of buff out the edges a little bit. So that way it doesn't look too sharp or anything. And yeah, that is the final lip color. I think it looks so 
pretty. I'm having a really good makeup day today. I'm gonna go grab my contacts. I'm like wondering, is it safe to wear contacts to the beach? I'm, I'm just gonna put them in. I'm gonna put them in. These are the contact brands that I use. Okay, AccuView Moist. Moist, yeah. I love that word. This is actually so pretty. I love how today's makeup turned out. I had one final step. And this is a step that I do not, I repeat, I do not want you to replicate. Please do not do what I do. Basically after my mascara dries, I curl them again. Like I said, this is very dangerous. Like I know people have pulled their whole eyelashes out doing this but come on, I have to. I just do one little pinch, that's it. I'm very careful. We didn't lose our lashes today, so it is a good day, and I am ready for the beach. This is my final look. This is my summer everyday makeup, my beauty routine in my trailer, basically what I do every single day. I'm very consistent. I'm very predictable. I don't like to switch up my makeup routine hardly ever. I'm not one of the people that just like, oh, I wanna do something fun. This is not where I put my creativity. This is just every day, it's the same. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Follow me on my Instagram because that is where I'm the most active. I usually don't even use my TikTok right now. I haven't been on TikTok in a minute. Um, favorite is Instagram. That is where I'm always posting and stuff. So follow me on there. But I love you guys so, so much. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed. And most of all, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. God bless you guys. Bye.